Well, Julian, exciting times uh, for the Manitoba Moose, uh, not only qualifying for the playoffs, but qualifying for the second round now. Just your thoughts on round one and what it took to get through. It was great. Um, getting the game five there, I think it, uh, it really tested us. Um, yeah, and it's just, uh, it, it, was, it was up and down all series, and I think it's, it's kind of the things in playoff time that makes your team grow, and um, we're happy that the way it went, obviously, and uh, bring some of those, you know, game five nerves over into this series and, you know, hopefully catch these guys off guard. You talked about growing. What kinds of things can you learn as a team from making it through a five-game series against the defending champs? Sticking with it. I mean, um, like you saw, like everyone saw, it, it, it was up and down. It was, you know, win, loss, win, loss. And, um, you know, even in that fifth game there, you know, it's 1-1. And it's it's just, you see how your team is when your back's against the wall. And I think um, in the playoffs, that's naturally that happens. And um, I'm sure it'll happen again. And I, I good thing we've gone through it and we, we know how to work through it now. And uh, it's something we're going to keep in our back pocket. For you, more than 320 professional games before finally getting into a professional playoff game. As you look back now, uh, special, obviously, to get that chance? Yeah, well, I, yeah, for sure. My second year pro, I, I was injured, and I, I couldn't get into the playoffs there. And it was really disappointing. I took it really hard that year because it was, it, was it was such a good year for m myself personally as well. So uh, I, I just kind of, you know, I, I said to myself for the longest time, when it, when it happens, it'll happen. And... Um, it, it finally did, so I just, uh, you know, it was just kind of a fade, and I'm happy that it went as, uh, as smoothly as it did. You know, we often hear how tough it is to get back into game mode when you've been out for a long time, especially at this time of the year when the competition is its stiffest. How were you able to adjust? I think just stick to my strengths. I, I, I didn't want to do too much, and I just kind of wanted to take the game as it came to me. I think... Um, not overdoing things. I think that's probably what I'm my best during the season too. Is just um, keep that puck moving forward and uh, bring that calm presence. And hopefully the guys around me feed off it and kind of you know use it for them as well. But just yeah, keeping things simple and uh, letting the game come to me. It's interesting how that simple approach often ends up uh, leading to some offense for you as well. You had a good season offensively and a couple of points in the last round. Yeah, like, like I said, just letting the game come to me. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's kind of helped me in the offensive zone too, uh, shooting that puck when it's there and uh, moving it uh, when it's there as well. So um, hopefully that comes um, in this round as well. I know you guys have done some homework on this Rockford team and you saw them in the regular season as well. What do you expect? Uh, a hard series. I mean, it's going to probably be pretty similar to the last series we played where it's going to be very physical. Um, they have a very experienced team, obviously a, a few guys with NHL experience, but um, that being said, they're a great team, but I think it's, it's, it's all about us. I think when we're playing our best, um, we have the ability to beat any team in this league, um, and that's the mindset we're going to continue to have uh, in this round. You mentioned it earlier, taking the nerves over from the fifth game for the game tonight. How important is the start of this series, given the way it's set up with two at home and then potentially three at their place before you get back home again? Uh, very important, obviously. I, I think uh, we're a great road team, um, and we've kind of haven't done as well as, as we'd like to at home. So I think uh, it's kind of funny. I've, we've never been on a team where kind of you kind of look for those home wins, but it's kind of what we're looking for now because um, we do do so well on the road. So um, every game is important. Um, every period is important. Um, like we saw last round, you know, a lot of mo that momentum carries over to the next game. So. Um, we're just going to chip away at it um, game by game and, uh, you know, hopefully come up on top here. Well, have fun with it. Thanks for the time. Yeah, thanks, Mitch.